Hi guys, Toshi Yuki here. So I was able to find out that you can run Blue Archive on Google Claims PC Emulator. So it's it's quite working very well so far. Uh, in my case, yeah, it's working very nice. I even got to play it on the actual gameplay. So I'm gonna try it back. The only da downside for this one so far is that it will consume a lot of your CPU even if you set it up to the GPU. I, I don't know why, it's probably because it's still on beta or something, but yeah, so far so good. Please don't, please don't mind the gameplay, this is, I didn't change the team yet. That has some frame drops, but it doesn't compare to the emulator that I that I was using. I've already uninstalled uh, Blue Stacks for this because this is the only game that I play on Android emulator, and I have no other use for the Android emulator. That's how it is so far. So what I'm going to do here is I'll be uninstalling Google Play Games Emulator and I'll show you the setup step by step. Alright, I'll be closing this. So I've already uninstalled Google Play Games. So First off, uh, you will need a different version of Google Play Games, which is the developer version. This one. So make sure that you're downloading the developer version of the Google Play Games on PC. So just download that one, then install. You might be prompted to install something like uh, virtualization. Make sure to follow the setup guide as well that will be provided by the game, by this app rather. Might take some time, so let's wait for it. Okay, so since the installation has been completed, just let it open. If in case that it doesn't open, you just have to open it manually. Okay, so you will not see anything on this screen because I have covered it, but just log in with your Google account that you usually use on playing games. Just let it sign in. Once uh, you see this, uh, you can pretty much close the browser. Then let the Google Play Games boot. Uh, make sure to take note of this uh, tip because uh, it doesn't have like the navigation button on the emulator itself. Once you go to the screen for the first time, please make sure that you will allow this one. Allow it. Then once you're on the screen, you can set that aside and you will need to prepare your APK file 
Or in my case, I need Blue Archive. I have this uh, Blue Archive pre-downloaded already with me. Once you have this too, you will need to install this using CMD. So to do that, you will need to open the installation folder of Google Play Game Simulator. You must be on this part of the installation. Then run CMD on it. I'm not sure if you will be able to do it like that, but if you, if, it, if in case that it doesn't work, just open command prompt, copy the location folder, then type cd, basically changing the directory part of the CMD. Once you have that one, you will need to type this. I'm not sure if I got it correctly. ADB, then install then the, the directory of the game then the file name so I'm gonna try this I'm gonna try this one out to let you know what will happen if you can if you'll only try to install one by one for split APK files will not work how are you going to fix that basically you'll just have to fix this one install multiple then you basically just have to add the other other apk file with you while installing the thing Might take some time. Wait for it. And that's it. So you have the thing installed. By the way, this is necessary when installing split APK archives. You will need to have the separated files in order to install them properly because otherwise it will give you an error similar to this or other errors. So once you have it installed, you're pretty much set. You just have to open this one and you have the blue archive installed first of uh when running this game you will encounter something like this it will show you the reset and game data which is the usual when running the game but there's nothing showing on the background like the usual background video just let it be like that because i think the emulator doesn't have the video codec that is necessary in able to show that video i don't know not really sure but yeah let it be might take some time to install the stuff that is required when you run the game for the first time as you can see you will hear the background music of the game i'll be censoring my login It will ask you to install the game just like the usual. Just like that. And let's wait for it. We are almost done on the download. There we go. 
Works now. Please ignore my parents since I'm broke. Help me. Stop. The downside here so far is that you will not be able to have hotkeys or something. Yeah, uh, I don't usually use that so I don't really mind at all. And the second downside here is that it will use a lot of your CPU. There we go. Uh, I'm using i5 7th gen so I guess I'm fine. And about the power consumption part even if you set it to the graphics override to 10 to your graphics card then the frame rate even if you do that it will still stick on using your cpu a lot so uh just a heads up that you might need the powerful cpu for the cpu for this that's pretty much it uh the way to install other games also depends on how you want it. Just a heads up that you will need to use the ADB install multiple if you have split APK archives. But if you only have one APK that you will need to install, you can just pretty much use this ADB install command. Also about the installation of Blue Archive, when you first run the game, you might encounter this issue here. Uh, you'll just have to tap confirm and confirm until it until it just let you go further in the game. That's pretty much it for the setup on Google Play Games PC. You might be able to run other games, but I cannot guarantee. I only need this for Blue Archive. If you have questions, just do so on the comment section, whatever. And subscription, ah, don't need to. It's not required. But yeah would be happy if you subscribe as well. Anyways, that's it. Bye.